So we had a hard question earlier in the study. Do you remember the question that was posed to Sarah? And I said, this is the question we all have to deal with. And it was, is anything too hard for the Lord? And we said, no. And the answer is no. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Not hard circumstances, not hard hearts, nothing. But here we see Joseph pose a question that we must all ask of ourselves as well. Am I in the place of God? Because many of us live year after year trying to be exactly that. Trying to push ourselves into a place that is only suited for God. Trying to look around at our circumstances and saying, no, I am the sovereign ruler of this universe. These children, they originated from me and they will do exactly what I say they will do. And they will turn into the humans exactly that I want them to turn into. Not only that, but I am in the place of God. I am the one who is all seeing. If there is anything that I need to know, I will find it on my phone. I am omniscient. Yes, I am in the place of God. I am the one who judges between everyone and decides who is deserving of favor and who is not deserving of favor. Yes, I am in the place of God. I think I'm qualified. And what does God faithfully do? He reminds us again and again that we are of yesterday and know nothing and that when we deny our limits and say, no, 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 I am limitless, just like him, that we're telling ourselves a terrible and a toxic lie that will hurt not just us, but everyone who is around us, and that the fact that we are not able to sit in the place of God should not be a thorn in our side. It should be something that causes us to look at our limits and trust that the limitless God who has set his favor on us will work all things together for good. 